and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at 147, and homework has been completed. Not by me, I must say. Um, a hobby was nipping out and agreed to nip out and get me another photo box um, from Hobbycraft. So I have another one of the photo boxes that I wanted. Luckily it has come back into stock. There was a period of time that it was out of stock. Um, but yeah, he's very kindly gone and got me a photo box, which means I can get my spares sorted in my videos for this week, which means I can then do what I planned in relation to de-kitting um, the Home Fun Succulent and in turn de-kitting um, next week de-kitting the Admiral Zest square picture that I've finished. So woohoo, thank you hobby. Uh, so what I did while he was out is I did cut my foam pieces for the middle and for the ends. I also popped the stickers etc over the top. I got all of that prepared. I had enough foam to be able to prepare another set for one box. I don't have enough to do it for two, but I did ask him to pick me up two because uh, in Hobbycraft these are two for six pounds. I figured if my squares have it, my rounds may need it at some point. So therefore I would get another one um, I won't make it up for my rounds because my rounds don't need it and I won't be using it yet but I will try and make sure that it has a home on my shelf for whenever it may need to happen because I've had enough times that this has been in and out of stock. I'm not playing that game again. So I have, that's my B5200, I'm going to need that this time. I do have some more cardstock. I have my divider for three 800s. So let's see how much room these take and let's get my squares all in. I'm then also going to get them shuffled about. So I'm happy with the amount of space that I have between... You know, between each one, I'm happy that I've got space to grow. I definitely should now. I've gone into three boxes for them. But I'm going to get everything ready, get them all spread out. I mean, it's, it's a little bit disappointing that I will have to get three boxes out when I'm de-kitting squares. But I will still only need two boxes when I'm de-kitting rounds which is progress. I'm going to keep hold of the back of that sticker sheet flat because if anybody saw my recent tip and trick, even the back of the sticker sheets have a use. And come on, peel for me. Fingernails aren't working today. There we go. So I'm going to get this top coat peeled off. Oh, they do peel off so nice. Once you get going, as long as you don't do it too quick, they do peel off really, really nicely. So that's good. So let's get some of these three sevens stuck down. Get them all lined up. All lined up pretty. Three double seven. I do have to keep checking my bags because as you can see my bags are all lying at very weird sort of angles. I'm just trying to pick, make sure that I pick up the one that's mostly on the top and hopefully it's the right bag. But just cross check my numbers while I'm at it. And I do have some empty bags. But I say there is still a lot of diamonds in there. 
and I do very much prefer them in the photo box. I find that they are a lot easier to flip through than of course this basic Amazon box is. They're a lot easier to flip through of course with the divider cards it's a lot easier to see the numbers just makes the process so much nicer. So the last of the 3700s is 3799 and then I get to pop in my divider for the 3800s and then we have loads of these because it seems as though they have pretty much each and every number. I'm going to run out of card stock soon. But I did, I did pick up and I did grab another pack. So I do have another pack of a hundred. Say I didn't count this other lot. There was no point in me counting it out. I just grabbed a handful. I didn't pay attention to how much um, when the delivery came in. Oh, that one's upside down. I did mention in another video, even though um, you can't see it as well on camera, if I show you both ways, um, I'm not sure if the light is even going to pick it up. It might be something that you're seeing, uh, but there is a slight linen texture on the cardstock. So that's the back that's smooth and that's the linen texture. So I do want to get the linen texture on the front it's not a big deal if I don't because I say it is very very subtle so it may be that you can't even really tell but I'm going to try my best to because I do like things all nice and organized and lined up and uniform and all the rest of it so we've got 3809. Okay, now I need more cardstock. So this one had been packaged up, but it's not too much of a big deal. I just didn't want to be doing it with loads of cardstock. I didn't see the point. Partly because it's me that bags it all up. If it was Megan, maybe I'd have been happy wasting Megan's time doing it. No, I'm really joking. Um, yeah, I just didn't see. It was just easier to just grab a handful of cardstock that had already been cut. So 3812. So this is going through all the numbers, I think keep trying to see if there's a section that it's missing so so far we are going 3 8 and then 01 02 03 we're currently on 14 I don't know if we're going to get to the point where we do have a gap in anything but we're definitely getting there with the bags I am very confident that it will fit in this third box and no more. I am not going for a fourth box, no matter what. It does not need one. Okay, so this should be 817. <clears throat> I definitely don't need a fourth box, but I do need a third. And I have picked up a third box for rounds, though I don't need it at the moment. I think it could potentially even be another year before I need one. But in turn, it could be that um, it could be that they definitely don't have this type of photo box in stock by the time it comes to that. Now, you can always recover a photo box if you do have one that you don't like. You could recover it in wrapping paper, maybe even wallpaper, depending on the thickness. Um, you could recover it in that 
so that you can have it in a colour to match you know whatever room that you're putting it in you could paint it maybe paint it the colour that you want there are a few different options if you can find a photo box but it's not quite the colour, the style, the decor that you want. I've just not taken on that um, because Hobbycraft is very local to me. It is probably a 10 minute walk, less than five minutes in the car um, to get to Hobbycraft. So when they have come back in stock, I have been able to pick them up quite easily which of course always makes things a lot easier. It's getting a hold of things sometimes. I have known a few people have had them shipped to them. Um, Hobbycraft do ship to other countries. I don't know how much they will ship to other countries and whether it includes photo boxes, but they do ship to other countries, so maybe that is something that could work um, if you're struggling to get hold of them and you do want photo boxes rather than another box that will that you can adapt to suit so some people do have larger boxes i think the main thing is getting a nice sort of depth you can get shorter bags you can get smaller bags, um, but sometimes they are then like a lot thinner and you're not going to get a lot of diamonds in them. But I know some people do use bigger boxes, some people divide it the other way, rather than this long way that I'm doing mine. So do try other boxes, take some either some pieces of cardstock with you or maybe some baggies with you if you've decided, you know, if you've already picked what baggies you want to store them in. I have been known to take them with me to a shop before now and pop them into the box and see if you can line them up with a little bit of a gap so that you can create yourself a divider. <clears throat> you can always create yourself a divider out of a thinner piece of cardboard if you find that foam board is too much. Of course my box has three pieces of foam board and that's just because that far one just stops it moving about that little bit that helps. Maybe you wouldn't need that third piece of foam board if you found a box that fit them a little bit snugger. Oh, excuse me. Um, if you found them, you know, a box that they sat a little bit more snug in there, maybe you wouldn't need it as much. And you could just get away with two pieces of foam board. Who knows? Look, I've got two different colours in that one as well. Some of the dye lots that companies use are completely different to the next company but I do keep them all together because I never know which one I may need for a replacement. So if they're both there, I, I can pick the closest match if and when I run out of a diamond. Okay, so another sheet done. Keep hold of that as well for future projects. The end is in sight. And because the amazing hobby went out and got me this photo box while I was still filming videos for this week, it means that I can still de-kit de my home fun painting. I just shifted the video to later on in the week, which means I can also still do my AB diamonds as I wanted to. I can still get those done. Oh, they're round. Can you see? 
So I don't know if I've bagged them up wrong with the rounds. In fact, let's get the rounds out and let's have a look. Have I put the sticker on the wrong bags? I may well have done. So three, eight, four, eight. Okay, so I have none in there. But of course, I have some in here. I have labelled these up wrong. So I'm going to peel the stickers off rather than tip the diamonds because the pit sticker should peel off. So 3848, 3848. Let's try it that way round. My logbook might be a little bit messed up because of that, but I'm just going to have to deal. Okay, let's try that one. It was bound to happen. It took me absolutely weeks. <clears throat> it definitely felt like that was a marathon session, was getting these labels on the bags. And that was primarily because I was not only putting the labels on the bags, which in itself wasn't too bad a process, but I was changing my baggies from the original baggies I had to these thicker baggies that Diana got me. So in turn, I was tipping diamonds from one bag to another bag. And that's what made it a lot more of a time consuming project and took me ages to do. So my tip, if you can, if it is within your budget, I highly recommend the thicker bags. I do think they are nicer. They stand up nicer. Um, they stand up a lot nicer in the box. They're a lot easier to deal with. They, they don't fit as many diamonds, um, but in turn, when they are pretty full, they keep their shape really nicely. <clears throat> so if you want to do it once and do it right, I suggest you get the stickers for your cardstock, do your baggies so that they're all done. You can do it bit by bit by just adding the stickers as and when you get the colours. It takes longer that way, but it saves it saves that one big chunk of time. Uh, but I do suggest that you get the thicker, ba thicker baggies if your budget allows, because I think they're so much nicer. Make sure that when you pop them in, you give yourself loads of space in your boxes so that you don't have to redo them as soon. I was very constricted to space. I wanted to keep my boxes down quite a lot due to space. Um, but I've now, I have still limited how many diamonds I keep hold of, i.e. I only allow myself one full bag of diamonds per number so I have limited myself in that way um, but even when you fill all those up it does take quite a bit more space I think three boxes of each is probably my limit though so now I have three boxes of each even though the second the rounds isn't being used now this is getting fuller and I am going to shuffle some about in a bit but I'm trying to help them stand up at the moment let's, let's no let's put them there once I'm done I'll have a reshuffle because I definitely want a little bit more space in the first box that I have for the diamonds because even before I put the dividers in, that did get a little bit, a little bit too full. But let's just get these in so I know where I'm up to. Look, Amazon box. Bye bye. 
nowhere near as pretty on my shelf than Amazon box, you know. I keep seeing it and thinking I had something that I needed to do an unboxing video of. And it wasn't. It was, it was just the fact that the box was there holding the diamonds. Okay, last few bags. So 3866. And then the B5200. Now, the rest of the stickers that you do get are the colours. I use these on my special diamonds. So I have purple, pink, red, etc. in with my special diamonds. But of course, I've already done that from my first set. So I can move that out of the way. Let's get all my boxes out and get the lids out of the way while I'm at it. And then I can have a proper little little reshuffle so we're going to three so let's start from the back end and move these over trying to make sure i'm not grabbing too many she says as i think i've grabbed too many that the bags slip out the bottom or anything Let's see, if I put all the 3800 in there, is that giving it room to breathe? Or is it a bit too much? Let's pop the divider in. Ah, oh, it's got a it's got a bit to breathe. So three seven hundreds. Let's move all of those over. move all of those over is that a bit too much breathing room yeah that would be too much breathing room what about with the three six hundreds because three eight hundreds always can move over that way that's quite nice so let's move three thousands down could potentially get away with all the 3000s in one box and leave a nice amount of room. What did I have them divided up as before? Let me just find my old little labels because maybe that's what will work. They're stuck in the photo boxes still. I just turned them around and now it doesn't want to slide out. Come on. Let me, tweezers, tweezers. Tweezers are good for more than one thing. No, not these tweezers, because they're bent. Have I got a set of tweezers that aren't bent? Let's try these. No, I have managed. I've managed to take it out once because I took it out to turn it around. And now I can't get the thing out to go to see what was on the opposite side. I don't want to bend the metal plate too much. Well, there we go, got hold of it. So, in one of them I had, it said, 3000s. And then the others are in my round box. So let me just get those out. And I had hold of that one then and then dropped it. Okay, so I had 100s to 600s. So the original labels I had was 100s to 600s, which would be about here. And then 700s to 900s, which would add that much to maybe here and leave a load of space. And 3000s. I'm going to do that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my original labels in here and have the diamonds how they originally were. But they are going to have quite a lot of space. 
but then one I'm not having to create new labels for this because I will know these are my squares because I've got three boxes now I know I'm moving all the three eighths into one place but that's because I'm going to try and start off as many rows as I can with a divider So three seven hundreds can all move over. Now do I keep that there? Three six hundreds with the three three hundreds of which there's not a lot and the three thousands which there's not a lot so i do have quite a bit of space at the end of the three seven hundreds and the three six hundreds and you can use things like green boats and things to help prop them up but what i'm going to do is i'm going to move forward the the back pieces and I'm going to try, because I have a load of, oh no, that's not going to, that's not going to fit unless I did it all in one row. Okay, let me have a think. I was going to pop my extra bags in there, but I don't think that's going to work. I might do some foam pieces. You know, like these twos, I might do a selection of foam pieces to help keep them up. But it seems like a bit of a waste of foam. I feel like I just need something. Um, maybe more a piece of foam that goes that way. Though I don't know if it would be sturdy enough to keep it upright. Let me have a little think while I get the others ready. So the next one is 700s to 900s. Now, I don't know if all the 900s are going to fit in one row, but let's see. Because, of course, some of these, we do have a lot less numbers than others. It's not just a matter of we're fitting 100 in each row. And, you know, we might just have more diamonds in some than we do in others. The actual quantity of each one is different. So even though that is, again, fuller, a bit similar to this one, it's going to be fuller because there's more of those numbers. It doesn't stop me moving things over later. So let's move the 800 over. Let's just embrace the fact that we've got three boxes. So, 800s are moved over with space. And then 700s. going to move over and they will also have some space now the way I divided this up originally was based on my squares and my round diamonds but I think it might still work for squares I think it's going to be a long while before I have to readjust hugely 700s pretty much fill that row as well. It's 800s that don't. Okay, 600s. How many of them have we got? Not many at all. So let's make this 500s and 600s. See, this is why I think they can get away with a lot more three-digit numbers than bringing in the four-digit ones. And let's move 400s down. 
Come on. I've just lost one because there's too much of a gap. That's why I do want to make sure that I can fill those gaps because if I leave too much space, they do fall in on each other. So let's move some 300s. So in that box, the 300 row is a lot fuller than the other rows. So the 300 row is fuller, three and four hundreds, than the five and six hundreds or than the one and two hundreds. But I can always scoot things over if I need to later. In this one, of course, if I try and scoot things up a little bit more, so you can see from overhead, we do have less room in the 700s and 900s, but we have a bit in the 800s. And then here, we've actually got three sets of the 3000s in one, because they're hardly used numbers. We've got loads of room, and the three 700s, and we've got loads of room. So all I need to find now, is something to fill that gap that can be removed. And it may be that cut pieces of foam board are my best option. I suppose, hmm, see, I could put the baggies in going upright because they, of course, are the same size. So if I go for, the, you know, these amount of baggies, Maybe if I put them in that way. But again, because of the amount of them, they're not like, they're not like solid. Some of them in that one, they would fit that way. And still it would work quite well, but it doesn't work well when it comes to these. So I keep trying to think what else I've got diamond painting related. I've got loads of these bottles. I don't know how well these would work, but I have loads and loads of spare bottles. Maybe they'll work and not be too in your face either. Let's try some of those. Look. Just a few. Okay, let's get some sort of order to this. So let's start at the beginning. Let's try taking out the bags. Because they do fit two across. So I can fit in a few. Just enough to keep it upright and in effect it's clear so it's not it's not an in your face I'll show you once I've got one fully done what it looks like when I'm looking at it from this angle will that fit another one no not comfortably okay one two three four that one might need a fifth be five or will it be six? No, five. Okay, so now when I look at that that way, that's what I see is my rows and they will be so easy to just take out when I no longer need them. In fact, let's try, that's a bit better for that one. See, just taking one out and having one in the middle there just gives it a little bit more wiggle room. I mean, I'll see what it's like. I think that one needs to come out as well. They're tall enough to allow the cards to still stand upright. Yeah, they're tall enough to allow the cards to stand upright and to move, but not, not too intrusive. 
So there's a little bit more wiggle room in those two. But they still look nice. Okay, so box one, done. I say, we'll see what it's like when I de-kit my succulent and I'll see how that works. But I think these might work the best for me. I might take that one out just to allow them, you know, I don't want to have a problem trying to de-kit. But in turn, I don't want all the bags scooting down on themselves. So that one has more diamonds in. It takes a lot less bottles at the end, but I've still got enough room to get to them all. I could potentially get another one in there, but I find it's pushing it just a little bit. I'd rather have it flow. So that is my 700s to 900s. And then last, but by no means least, my 3000. The bottles are alive. I remember when these first came out and I would have loved to have some extra ones. And now I have absolutely loads of them. Loads of extra ones. Floating about all over the place. Do I need one there? Yeah, that still moves freely. I don't think the 3 eighths need one. So that is my 3000s. That works. If I needed more storage space for them, I could potentially put another bottle in. It would stand too upright, but I don't, I don't particularly need the storage space for them. I just want my spares boxes to work for me so there we go for my spares not including my ab which is my next goal i have managed to go from having four boxes no from having three boxes for rounds and squares with them all squished in to having three boxes for squares only and two boxes for round. Uh, round has got quite a lot of room. Uh, not as much room as squares, but it definitely doesn't need that third box yet, but I have it and I'm gonna keep that safe. Um, in fact, I may even use it for my extras, for the ones that I'm happy to give to somebody. Maybe I'll do that as a video once I've sorted out my ABs. I will put all my extras extras into one of the into the other box of this that I've got because they can always be, you know, ditched, given away quicker, you know, somebody take the job lot if I need the if I need the box back. <laughs> so maybe that's what I'll do. But yeah, I've gone from three to five boxes, but with loads of rooms. So hopefully that will give me another two, two years at least minimum um, before I need to reevaluate my life and my spare storage. We'll see. But three was the result for squares. It did take it. I have reorganised, you know, where my, basically it goes, these go on a shelf with all my storage for diamond painting. So it has made me think about, you know, what storage cases I do need and where, which is not a bad thing to reevaluate that. Um, especially because I absolutely adore storage. So it's definitely not a bad thing. <clears throat> and yeah, I'm happy that when I go to D-Kit Squares, I can actually get to the bags. And if I need more room, it's quite simply a matter of removing one or two of these little bottles and popping them back with the other ones that I have. So thank you so much for joining me throughout my spare storage sort out again. It's a good job, it's a process I love, isn't it? Um, I will be doing my AB storage 
think that video should come out on Saturday. That's my plan, provided I get the time to get that film. That will be out on Saturday, so you can see how I'm going to be storing my AB diamonds. Um, my special storage works for the moment, but I am going to take my ABs out of there so that they can get stored nicely and hopefully get used. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you all again soon.